You're waking up to Good Morning Idaho. And welcome back to Good Morning Idaho. Joining us this morning is Jim Clawson of Sit Mean Sit Dog Good Training. Morning. Good morning, Jim. And you brought along Ava again, which we love. A, a yeah. beautiful dog. She's not for adoption. I know a lot of people are going to wonder because she's so pretty. <laughs> but you're, you do amazing things training dogs. And you know, a lot of people, they get their brand new puppy or dog, whichever mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. bring them home, and they go, okay, I want to start potty training. And sometimes they run into trouble. Yeah, and it's, it's one of the easiest things for people to do because you're harnessing a dog's natural instinct. There's three things about potty training that we want to remember. Number one is you want to be able to keep the dog on a, on a routine, create hmm. a routine for him. Like with Ava, come here, sweetie. With her routine, she gets fed at a certain time, we let her out at a certain time. If you don't know when they've eaten, you don't know when you can determine hmm. their potty clock. So a lot of people free feed. And then they wonder why they're having problems with potty training. So it's paying attention to what your dog is doing besides just going to the bathroom. You exactly. need to pay attention to the yeah. rest of the and, schedule, too. And, yeah, and rest of the schedule. Like, she'll get up at a certain time, and immediately we go outside. So the first thing we do is we go outside and go to the bathroom. And then she gets fed at a certain time. I know what her potty clock okay. is. Um, we, we play at a certain time. We train at a certain time. We walk at a certain time because dogs need that routine. The second thing is control the environment. Who's going to watch the puppy when you're not there? Hmm. What are you going to do when you're not there? Taking a brand new puppy and just turning them loose in the house, or even a dog you've adopted where they might be potty trained, well, they might be potty trained to someone else's house. They might not be potty trained to your house. Okay. So they don't know what door to go out. And so what you want to do is control their environment, utilizing a baby gate to keep them in the kitchen, or using a dog door where you can push the crate up to the dog door where if they get the urge to go to the bathroom, they can jump out the dog door. They can come back into the crate and relax. If you're not there, who's going to watch the puppy? Yeah. You know, we have, we, leaving the puppy with a child, and I see this all the time, well, it's my daughter's dog, and mm -hmm. she's nine years old, and I want her to potty train. Yep. That's like asking Yogi Bear to guard the picnic basket, right? <laughs> it's not a good idea. Right? Yeah, so you have to make sure you're ready for the commitment, right? Exactly. Because it does take some, a time commitment up front it to does. make sure you do it right. You talk about controlling the environment. Just a question, thinking about this, would it be a good idea then to always let the dog out the same door of your house when they are going potty? In the beginning, hmm. yep. Same door to the same potty area, because you can actually teach your dog to go to the bathroom in one place in the yard, instead of peeing and pooping all mm -hmm. over and getting yellow spots in the grass, they can learn to go in one spot and they can learn to go on command. So wow. we travel, Ava and I travel around the country competing, and when I stop at a rest area, I want to make sure that my dog goes to the bathroom very quickly. Mm -hmm. So we have a potty command that if I start to give her a command now, she immediately starts sniffing around and looking for a place to go. And it's all about capturing the dog in the moment and rewarding them for that mm. behavior. Oh, so the rewards, she, yes. Yeah, you can see how j I just reach <laughs> into, my, into the treat basket and she knows. You have her very well trained. She knows what's coming. <laughs> Rachel was doing some sit down, yep. stay commands with her earlier. Yep. So thanks so much with some of these for some of these tips on potty training. You know, I think some of these things I haven't done. We've had our dog for uh, four or five years now, mm -hmm. but uh, is it too late then no, to do that with her if we haven't done some of those yet? It's never too late. We've potty trained dogs just most recently. A 13-year-old dog was adopted <laughs> who had never been in the house before. Wow. And so it was the same thing, getting them on a set schedule, controlling the environment, uh, making sure you create that routine, the time routine, the putty routine, the eating routine, the out, the walk, and you'll have it. And it's one of the easiest things because dogs are naturally clean creatures. So unless they've been raised in a, in a terrible situation like a puppy mill where they were in a mm. rabbit cage or something, mm -hmm. it's very easy. It should only take anywhere with a young puppy seven to ten days with an adult dog. Sometimes they get within three days. Okay, amazing. So not that long, but just make the commitment to get That's it done right. right the first time so you don't have to worry That's about right. doing it down the road or having That's accidents. Exactly it. All right, Jim. Thanks so much, Ava. Good girl. She did so she, good, huh? She knows she's a good girl. She knows she's pretty, too. All right, thanks so much. We look forward to more of those tips coming from you in coming weeks.